Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back. Thank you for checking in again, and thank you for coming along with me for another one. Today is an exciting day. Today is not an ordinary day, just like every other day, because today is moving day. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> that is right. Today we are doing the nobody's favorite task. I was going to say the impossible task, but that's not accurate. I'm doing the less than joyful task of moving. So, so far, actually this morning, I have gotten two full loads. So that's two full forerunners worth of my stuff, which is vast majority already moved. I did not expect that my individual would cooperate with me today, but like the first words out of her mouth after we finished bath time and getting dressed were car car. And I definitely hopped on that opportunity because she doesn't really mind where we drive around to. She just likes to sing and kind of see the scenery. So yeah, for me, that was fantastic. I loaded up my Forerunner last night with the first load of stuff. So I was able to drop that off at the new place this morning. Easy peasy. Went back, packed up a second load in the Forerunner and was able to transport that already. So that just like exceeded all of my possible expectations and went so well and tonight i'm going to be moving my mattress and my dressers so that's going to be like the furniture component there's already a couch tv stand table fridge all that kind of stuff there i just need a mattress and i need to store my own clothes obviously so yeah i I'm just gonna apologize now. I didn't get to film a lot of the moving process just because the landlord's there. I had my supported individual and just trying to get it done as quickly as possible. Obviously, moving sucks. Moving in the snow sucks. Wasn't trying to prolong and delay that. So I will be filming a bit more of the unpacking and I'll probably set up my camera on a tripod and do like a time lapse of me actually putting stuff away. Um, getting organized and I definitely will take you along with me for that journey but unfortunately the actual moving of the boxes you're just gonna have to take my word for so yeah thank you guys for coming along with me I am so pumped I'm so happy with how this day is going I cannot wait and yeah thank you guys for coming along with me like I said I cannot wait for this to be this transition to happen I am honestly really excited so saw me packing a lot of furniture in boxes and I think I'm gonna show you my place. I think I'm gonna show you my place. So let's start from the very beginning. When you walk in from my separate entrance, this is what you see. Straight off to your right, we have the laundry room, washer, dryer, cleaning supplies, nothing too fancy going on there. I'm gonna continue down this hallway. We've got a nice fluorescent light. And here is our bathroom. So even when I gave a deposit, this tile was different. The door was not here. It was like a slidey 70s door. And there was a different shower curtain. So this has all been basically new installed. 
a little bathtub with shower heads and a window. Wow! Very nice. She tried to clean the mirror, but it's obviously she used the wrong product to clean. Um, but yeah, look at this little light fixture. I think it's actually super cute, even though it's like old style. Um, the tile in the bathroom, we're gonna ignore that. But what we do have <laughs> is some nice storage um, filled with some crap, obviously. But yeah, that's always nice behind the door. Then we have my bedroom, yay! Then we have my closet, which is actually pretty decent size. Like, that's pretty much all my clothes. <laughs> we got my dressers. Um, we have a little like ledge there. That white thing is like a motion detecting temperature sensor so that the temperature stays a little bit more regulated. She said people have complained about it being cold down here. So yeah, when we come out of the hallway, where we just were. Now we enter like the main space. So right here, we have our first like closet. I have my shoe racks in front of there right now. Side note, if any of you play Othello or know this game, hit me up and we can play over iMessage because I literally am obsessed with this game and nobody ever knows how to play it. <laughs> So this closet could be a pantry, but I asked her to take the shelves out so I could use it for like jacket storage. What the fuck is up, Kyle? My jackets will be going in that closet. Then I have my own fridge, which is amazing and beautiful. Full fridge, full freezer, totally mine, separate. We have the landlord's dining table. This is also the landlord's um, microwave and coffee station. So I'm gonna set that up for myself. In this room is just like the furnace room. And over here we have the main living space, which I don't know if you guys know me. <laughs> uh, this is like the aesthetic of my dreams. Very 70s. I like the smoked glass mirror. Are you freaking kidding me? How cool is that? That's such like a, a different style than what's around nowadays look how cute yes and yeah this is all my crap absolutely everywhere so i definitely have my work cut out for me um getting settled in but yeah basically just wanted to show you guys around hello so I think I'm basically, I hope this fan isn't too loud. I know it probably is and annoying, but listen, it's really hot down here. So sorry about it. But uh, yeah, you guys, I think I am signing off. I am all tucked into my bed. I did get just like a little bit of stuff put away. Um, and over there as well, I just put up like a couple things just because I think it's worth just a little bit of effort to try and make it feel like a little bit more at home. Um, especially, you know, your first day, it's nice to have your creature comforts. Um, I'm actually feeling extremely comfortable, specifically because this is like my old furniture setup and stuff. Um, that I haven't used in a long time, but it's been sitting at my dad's house and it's my stuff. It's all stuff that I like picked out and it's just sat there essentially in storage. So it feels really good to be using that again. It feels super comfortable and homey. I love this shit. It feels really good. I'm happy. I'm sleepy. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just glad that it was a good day. I'm glad that it went smoothly. I'm excited for this new chapter and to continue to expand. Yeah yeah um so that's it for today probably catch you tomorrow while i am uh putting some stuff away at least she was hopeful but 12 hours later hello beautiful people i am so tired <laughs> i yeah slept the first night in the basement suite yesterday 
and did not sleep like at all. It really do be like that sometime. There was an hour between like one thirty and three thirty. That's two hours. <sighs> so yeah, I got like a little bit of sleep in that time frame, but uh, couldn't sleep, and my roommate had. <laughs> I'm assuming like her boyfriend over and he was leaving at like five o'clock this morning when I was yeah uh yeah so I did not sleep very tired feeling very very tired right now I my body is exhausted my brain is exhausted looking forward to sleep tonight but unfortunately I still have six hours of work left and then followed immediately by a team meeting thank god it's virtual <laughs> sleepy happy hoping I get a better sleep tonight that is for sure. I don't think it would be possible for me not to, considering how tired I am right now, but... You're not really fine, but you just can't... Yeah, just checking in. Hello, you guys. I am back in my basement suite. Um, yeah, I want to set up and film and show you guys... Um, me organizing and putting things away because it's Friday afternoon and so I have Saturday and Sunday with no plans other than tackling getting this stuff put away because we're looking like a little bit of a train wreck right now and that's okay um you know it'll all come together eventually but I wanted to say that my first priority was like cleaning and organizing but in reality, my first priority is trying to find my tripod. <laughs> Allow me to stop myself here. Now back to cleaning.
drove around. I drove to my friend's place to drop off her spare key that she needed back. And then I needed gas. I was dead out of gas, did not want to do that, but I needed to go get gas, so I did. And I was kind of driving around in the wrong direction. I just about watched a pedestrian literally get hit by a car. Um, it is like a skating rink out there, so I didn't really feel like driving around just to like go get myself some food, even though I wanted to go get myself some food. Long story short, there's a grocery store kind of beside the gas station. So I go in the grocery store, I'm walking around, nothing's really standing out to me. And I stumble across Amy's frozen burritos. I got two black bean and two, I think, cheddar cheese ones because they were on sale. Walk up to the register or walk away from the burritos, walk past a box of popsicles, so grab those as well, then walk to the register, get to the register, and I paid $32 for four burritos with no meat in them and a box of, I believe, six popsicles. And then I'm eating it on a recycle, my recycling, my recycling that needs to be taken to the recycling depot. How's your day going today? And the worst part is I've never even tried these Amy's burritos. I don't even know if they're good or if I like them. So we're going to try one right now. This is the black bean one. I have a feeling I'm going to need this, the goat, but let's try this. Hopefully I don't bite into it and then it like explodes hot lava because I feel like that's a possibility. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god. It is the little things in life, you guys. I'm gonna use all of my leg muscles to hold this Cholula so I can get it on, on there. Oh my god, this is really good. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh. You guys can't see anything. I'm sorry. I should be better about showing you what I'm eating. Here's my cardboard plate. Um, and here's the burrito. That looks disgusting. Maybe I shouldn't show you. Mm. That is seriously fucking delicious. I'm blown away. When is frozen food ever good? Oh my god. Mm. That's it. Um, I'm working with you. Can you go for some more hot sauce? Classy girl in a classy world. Mm. This is so good. <laughs>
I'm enjoying this like way too much. Oh. Mm. We had a suicidal bean. A suicidal bean incident. I'm calling Amy. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. I needed that. I didn't know how much I needed that. Seriously though, that was really good. So I feel a little bit better about spending $32 on four burritos and six popsicles, but I'm probably gonna have another one of those later. So <laughs> good thing I bought four of them. Mm. Okay, and just for the hell of it, um, these are the popsicles I bought. Malona Mango. There's eight in the box, so I feel a little bit better about that at least, but I don't think I've ever tried these. I've always wanted to. Um, I was very tempted as well by like the melon flavored one, but I felt like this might be a stronger flavor. Now we're gonna try that too. I don't regret this either. <sighs> Let me tell you, when I walked out to my car, I was like, did I really, why did I, why did I do that? Mm. No, that's a good purchase. I approve of these, these are good. And I wanna try the melon flavor. If those are good, let me know. <laughs> okay, as if anybody's commenting on anything I'm doing. <laughs> Seriously, though, let me know. <laughs> oh, and uh, thanks for telling me I had hot sauce on my face, by the way. Real dick move, dude.